everyone. My name is Annie and I'm a teaching artist with Arts for All Florida. Today we're going to learn how to make an origami butterfly out of paper. Something that you can make at home or in your classroom. It just takes a few steps. So the supplies you're going to need today are a pen or a pencil, a pair of scissors, and a piece of paper. So ideally you'll have a piece of origami paper that you can work with. And if you don't, you can just take some regular notebook paper or any kind of scrap paper, really. Um, and I'm just going to show you how, real quick, how to make it into this square shape so you've got the correct shape. So if you only have rectangular shape paper, what you're going to do is you're going to put it on your table and you're going to take this top edge and bend it to the side. So I'm going to go just like this, line up the edges, press my edge down, okay, open it up, line up, and take this corner and take it down to this fold. And again, line up your edges, just like this, okay, and then it's going to look like this. So you have the two folds. So what you want to do is you want to cut along this bottom edge. Cut that off. That extra flap of paper. And then when you open it up, you have your square. So that's, you can kind of see the, the X uh, shadows in there from the folding. Okay, so that's how to do that. Now I'm going to get you started. Um, with how to do the whole thing. All right, so I'm gonna be using origami paper here. If you go to the craft store, you can find it in several different shades and patterns and designs. So usually one side is has a pattern and the other side is white, but you can use paper that is the same color on all sides and that turns out great too. So um, what you wanna do is you're going to take the paper with the inside part of the butterfly on the top. This is going to be my outside of the butterfly. So I'm going to fold this, no, 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 sorry. I'm going to take these, this corner and this corner. And I'm going to fold it, match the corners up, and match your edges up. And I'm going to pull it into a triangle. After you make that fold, take your pen or your pencil or whatever you've got and just give that a little push, okay? Because that'll give you a real good crease. Then you're gonna open up your paper and you're going to fold it into a um, triangle the other way. So now I'm gonna have my two folded points meet, all right? And I'm checking these sides before I crease them and checking to see if these line up. And they do. So fold it like that. And then again, I take my pen and I smooth that out. Okay, the next step is uh, oh yeah. I'm going to open up the paper. Then, so it should look like this, right? What you're going to do is you're going to squish this in. So I've got like this laying flat, right? Picking it up, I'm pulling this in. And then this part here is my, is already a triangle. I can see it there. So I'm just gonna line that up and push the, push the edges together. All right, so I'll show it to you again. You've got your square. You're gonna pull, you're gonna pull it this way. And that's your triangle on top. Okay. So that, is your first part of it. So you should have a triangle. You could even stand it up like this. So it looks like from the underside. Okay. All right, how's everybody doing? Good? Okay, we're gonna move on to part two. All right, so now you've got your triangle with your four flaps. You're gonna take, if you hold it like this with the triangle facing away from you. Then you'll have these flaps here 
I've actually got four of them, right? But we're only going to take two. We're going to take two up and leave two back. So put it on the table, line this corner up to this corner, push it down, use your tool for creasing, and you're going to take your other flap and match it up again. Okay, so now when you hold it up, it should look like this, right? It's like a diamond and then a triangle behind it. Okay, are we good? All caught up. So the next step is we're going to fold it over. So these are actually the legs of the butterfly, right? So this, what I'm going to, right now I've got like that. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to fold it, but before I crease it, I want Can you see that? So that little triangle goes beyond this flat edge. So pull that up. Push it around. I I call this part the head, the head of the butterfly. I'm going to push it around that way. And then, right, that, that way, fold it up, and then this should kind of curl up, and that's what you want. Then you're going to turn it upside down so the head is sticking up here, it's on the top. And then you're going to fold it in half again. And right here, where that head is, you really want to squeeze it. Give it a good pinch. And open it up a little bit, and that's it. That's your butterfly. So it's fun to make. It's easy. And then if you want to, you know, I have several of them here. I'll show them all to you. I've got this big one here I made out of wallpaper sample. So I'm going to have a whole collection of them. And then you could later on, you could take some paint, you could paint some designs on there. You can, you know, glue some beads, any little doodads you have around the house, buttons. I've got some sequins here. Nothing too heavy because you probably want to hang it up. And I have some great ideas for hanging these up. Um, in my next video. So hope you'll join us. It'll be fun. All right, so I just wanted to say great job to everybody. Thank you for participating. Um, thanks for watching Arts for All, Florida's Spotlight on Art. And I hope you enjoyed doing this project together with me. If you like the video, please comment below and share it with a friend. We'd love to hear from you. Feel free to post your own creations on social media. Remember to tag us by using our handle at Arts for All Florida. That's Arts, the number four, All Florida. See you next time.